Julia Trinesky here with FanPass.TV, 33star.com artist lounge with my friends from Gemini Syndrome. What's going on, guys? What's up? Hello. See you again. We got a little yin yang thing going on here. It's beautiful. We're just discussing albinos and brunettes, and here, here I am. I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in a sandwich. So tell me, we we briefly met last year at the same festival. Um, your band is amazing, super tight, super big, and 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 just just really unique and clean and powerful. Um, Thank you. What you know? What's the agenda? What's the big plan? What's the big goal? I mean, uh, since the album came out uh, last September, we've just been touring, touring, touring. Huge you know? single. Yeah, it's been uh, yeah, I mean, it's been number one on Sirius for coming on four months now. You know, getting a lot, of, lot, of, lot, a lot of love from them. Uh, you know, all over the country, it's doing well, man. Yep, Stoked. Good. La, 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 la. But you know, like as, as a band, like when you guys got together with all the bands now and with all the social media and all these options of all these things. What was going to be like your big unique thing? Like, what was the? We wanted to to put it out like as an artistic package. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, because everything is Which so is single like, driven. You guys live. Everything is so like you know geared towards like let's put out a single. Let's like not focus on the album. So we we really focused on the album. We put together a comprehensive art, art. package with a really good artist. Beautiful you know, art. and so so when you get. When you, when you, there's so many ways to experience it, whether it's just the album and all the artwork in the album, all the merch, like all the variety of stuff that we have to offer. It's, it's all really based on art. It's something that like, even if you, even if you were just into art and you saw our stuff, right. you'd be like, well, what's that all about? And then you get into the music, you know, part of it's secondary, you know, there's all different angles to come at it. Who does all your art for the, for the album, for the shirts, for all that stuff? Um, we work with the guy, book? yeah, we work with the, oh, I work with the guy, uh, his name's Cameron Gray. He's mm -hmm. out of Australia. And um, we collaborated on all the artwork for the album, and he, you know, we, we put together really. Uh, it, it's, it's based off like the tarot deck, mm -hmm. and um, everything. Every single song has its own symbol. Every single symbol represents uh, the song and has a lot of, you know, intricate meanings. Yes. And, so, are you guys? Would you guys say that you're you're spiritual people? Do you have your own belief system? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, we, tell me about that. I'll let him. I think it's different for everybody in the band. You know, we're not coming to the table saying that we're, you know, this faith or this denomination or anything. Everybody has their own belief system. What, what's the package though? What's go? What's the? What's the mix? I, I think the point is that every faith in the world has certain overlapping qualities. Sure. You know, you can look at Buddha. You can look at Jesus. You can look at the Tao. You can look at Zoroaster. And it, there's going to be overlapping principles, and it's pretty much like love each other. Love yourself. Don't be a dick. It's pretty you know, basic it's stuff. Really, that when really you look easy. in the mirror at the end it's of the really day, easy. stuff that makes you like, feel Like, did you good. go home and say, "I was awesome today," or right. "I was a piece of crap"? So I think that's that's pretty easy to comprehend. And we've we've really developed like a community of people together. That like when we come to shows in all areas of the country, like you meet friends and you, you develop relationships that become like really strong and it's, that's pretty powerful to see. Absolutely. Yeah, everybody's and feel, still like recognizing it. And the people in our community, in the rock and roll community, I feel like there's a lot of spirituality going on and people have a lot of feeling towards this greater thing, but they don't want to call it anything because then it's like religion or, exactly. or whatever. Yeah. No, and totally everybody's true. like, screw that because totally that's, true. you know, that's somebody trying to lead the herd. And we're not a herd here. And I, rock but and I, say, I say embrace whatever you believe. Don't but judge do anybody else for it, but embrace, your, embrace your own beliefs and just let that guide you through this life. Which is also, which is almost thing, Satanism, you know? actually. If we, you know, if we yeah, that. which you know, <laughs> you know, which, the pentagram. Okay. Correct. Yeah, but, but with that being but, said, but unfortunately, like yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's a lot of other things that that, that come along with every religion has its own little list of do's and don'ts. And I think if you can look past um, a lot of those things, then. Unfortunately, you negate the religion, but then you can also kind of like take the best things out of all these things. Which is like, which is spirituality. I feel which like. yeah, which is spirituality. It's, and it's, it's your it's own a little heart. bit of Unitarianism. It's a little bit of Universalism. It's a lot of it's a lot of different things. You know what I mean? It's it's uh it's it's going back to what we were talking about like the Kabbalion. You know, it's like the origins of, of faith in general have to do with uh, just just uniting spirit. And how do you feel that symbols and what? people get out of symbols how, how, do, how does that reflect those things those aspects I, I mean I believe symbols are are a, a way 
that you can communicate without written language. You know, even when we shot off the the two first Voyagers off in the 70s, you know, we just sent them up there with two two naked humans and a bunch of symbols. Yeah. You know what I mean? So whatever civilization finds us, uh, you know, you can communicate through symbols. You know, symbols are a powerful instrument. You know, and and they're they're very general and they don't necessarily speak as specifically as like written language, but they do have an energy in them. I did not expect you to go there with that. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> just to compound on that a little bit, symbolism is the oldest form of communication. Of course. So even if you're not consciously aware of it, it's still affecting you in a certain way. On a, on a lot of levels, on visual a lot of levels, yeah. and psychological, and the, like it leaves an imprint that's a lot deeper, I Absolutely. believe. Absolutely. So as a band, what's what's the, what's like the image that you want to leave behind? What's your imprint? Besides the music, like what's the visual imprint that you'd like to leave behind? You know, I think the whole... Connectivity. Yeah, yeah, like with, with Try Gemini it. representing duality. Try it. Yeah, it's all about like, uh, uh, you know, uniting your, your, you know, coming to terms with your own duality, you know, like uniting yourself into one. That's complicated. That's a big challenge for a lot of people. Yeah, people yeah. spend the eternity trying yeah, to figure but, that but, out. But the whole point isn't to like try to get there. It's that journey. It's, it's recognizing journey. that. It's, it's, it's finding joy in that. You know what I mean? It's 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 it's, it's uh, journey is more important than the end. Ah, that is a <laughs> beautiful poetry coming out of these interviews. And 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 also, you know, while we're on this conversation, we were talking about the fact that you are an albino, right? And this is something that I think a lot of people don't know about, which I find to be like one of the most unique things in nature that happens. Can you tell us a little bit more about how your organism works versus ours? Albinism is a recessive gene trait, has to be carried by both parents as a recessive trait, and even then it's not guaranteed that carried, it Carried but not shown necessarily, right? Correct, correct. Um, and it's not guaranteed even if both mom and dad have that trait that you'll have albinism. So I have no chances of creating one of you perfectly no, you have no blonde babies. No, you have no idea. You have no idea. You it's possible. Have I have dreams! It's possible. Yeah, you could. It's possible. You could be carrying the recessive trait right now okay. and you don't know it. I could not have it, even though I have albinism, it might not be recessive in my DNA. Point is, if it does happen, uh, the part of your DNA that creates melanin and creates color mm -hmm. doesn't exist. So it affects skin tone, hair color, the retina of the eye, that's why people with albinism have vision problems. Um, and you end up being really pale. Do you <laughs> not wearing see, sport do, coats at summer festivals. Do you not see a full spectrum of color? I am con No, I see full color, but I'm considered legally blind. Wow. I can show you how I read my phone. <laughs> and my text messages, That's fascinating. as you might notice, they're like pretty, pretty big. Yeah. I read it like this. <laughs> so. Do you find that people, um, you know, obviously the rock and roll industry is probably one of the most accepting societies that we have, but nonetheless, you were saying that, you know, you, you come across people who are kind of like super weirded out. Absolutely. Like, what's, why do you think, like, why do you think that is? And if you had something to say to those people, what would you say? I think people just, a lot of people haven't seen it. They've never experienced it before. They don't know what it is. So they're frightened by it, honestly. Maybe not like in a in a Halloween scary kind of oh my god I'm scared. It's just something they don't know about. But it's about like I don't way. understand it, so I'm scared of it, and so I'm gonna you know react to it in a negative way. At, I mean, at that point it's like I'm really no different than you, <laughs> except I'm much paler. You should be like you know what God wishes his beard looked as beautifully. Blonde god as gave mine. me this beard. This is a gift from above. <laughs> Snowbeard from God. Only albinos have it. You should wish you had one. And old people. <laughs> and old people. But you know, there's no nobody ever gets old in rock and roll. We live forever. Is that true? I, I said so, and so that. it is. Fanpass.tv. Rock and roll lives forever, and don't you forget it. <laughs>